Hello, welcome back to tutorial 3 of MIT App Inventor. I am Krishna Raghavendran. So in this tutorial, we are going to concentrate on the UI design of our app. So now let's start. So, so in this tutorial, we will make a login screen. Before I start, I am going to tell you two websites in which you can, which will make your app UI very good. So this website has many icons which you can download and then use it for your app. Or you can also make your own icon. So here you can see many icons. You can search here. And this is the second side. Here there are many colors which should be good for UI. User interface. So you can copy the hex code of the color and paste it in the MIT App Inventor. So for example, if I need to change the background color to one of these colors, for example, turquoise, you need to copy and now it has been copied. Let's go to background color. Click on custom. Here you put the hex code and you can see the color done and you can see the same color has came here. So this will make your UI, UI's color more good. So now let me set it to default one. Yes. So now we are ready to, ready to start the login screen. Yes. So now we are going to see the layout components which are here. Let's click on that. There is horizontal arrangement, horizontal scroll arrangement, table arrangement, vertical arrangement and vertical scroll arrangement. So here I have brought in horizontal arrangement. These arrangements will not be visible unless you change the color of them. So the default color is none, which means it will not be visible. So why are these useful? Let me tell that. So first make sure you have made your align horizontal of screen properties center and align vertical also center. So now what we are going to do is that we will make this height 10%. I think it's too small. Like let's make 60%. Yes. Width might be 60%. Yes. So now I'm going to bring a button. So if you want this button in the middle, like we do for the screen here also you can see align horizontal and align vertical so center center so horizontal arrangement is used to keep all the components in horizontal so you can see button one is here and next to button one it's horizontal you can see button two you can make it come at the top at the bottom now let it be center so now we are going to see horizontal scroll arrangement the difference between this and this is that this will have a scroll bar so if you want many buttons like 10 buttons if you are going to put it like that and if there is no space in the mobile you can use an horizontal scroll arrangement a scroll bar will appear so now let me show that I'm making the height to fill parent with also to fill parent. Let me bring these two buttons and delete this horizontal arrangement one. Yes. So I'm going to bring some more buttons. If you need it, need a scroll bar, make sure in your screen properties, you need to check the scrollable. Yes. So now let me bring a button another button here here and if you keep on put many buttons there will be a scroll bar which will appear in the mobile so let me delete all of these 
instead of deleting one by one you can just select this horizontal scroll arrangement and everything inside that will get deleted so now we know what is horizontal scroll arrangement and scroll arrangement so now let's see vertical arrangement i'll put height to fill parent and width to fill parent so now let's make this not scrollable and this is to arrange vertically like this in horizontal it came like this at side but in vertical it comes like a straight line so now i'm going to increase the width of all these buttons first let me delete these yes so now let me increase the height to 40 percent and then i'm going to put another button you can do ctrl c and ctrl v to copy paste the component and again ctrl c and ctrl v so now you you cannot see a scroll bar appearing because this is just a vertical scroll vertical arrangement So for that we need vertical scroll arrangement so that there will be a scroll bar appearing. So let's put all these outside of the arrangement. And now let's make it invisible so that we can delete this one. Yes, so now I'm going to bring a vertical scroll arrangement put one of the buttons inside the next button and then the last button so again you can't see the scroll bar because you need to make it scrollable and here you can see a scroll bar now you can scroll and see the buttons if they are not fitting so that's the difference between vertical arrangement and vertical scroll arrangement this table arrangement you can put the number of columns and number of rows now i'm going to put four columns and four rows so totally there will be six, 16 cells so in each of the cell you can put a component for example a button three four so you can see four here and four so like that you can keep on put it it will it will look like a table Yes, so now we are ready to start doing the login as we know how to use all these. So now let's start. First, make this to center, center. It's already done. Drag and vertical arrangement. And we will make it not scrollable. Yes. So now I'll put height as... 70 or 50 would be good and with also with as 70 height can be a little more bigger i'll put 70 for height too yes so now i'm going to bring a label so i want this to be the in the middle so can you tell what should be done So now let me tell the answer. Align horizontal should be set to center so that this comes in the middle, the label. So I'll change the font size to 30 and then change the text to login. Yes. So now we are going to change the background to a blue color or something like that. I think this one would be good. I'll paste it in the background color here. Or oh, let me try this purple. I'll place the heck.
now I'll paste the hex code here done yes you can see I think we can make it a little bit lighter and you can also make it a little bit transparent by moving up and down yes so now let's change this color yeah I think this is fine and then now we need two text boxes and a label so I'm going to bring a text box you have it here and the next text box is going to be password text box the difference between these text boxes is that the password text box the characters will be not visible so now let's just use text box and in the next tutorial we'll learn in detail what this is yes so now I'm going to put a label here I want it here so what can I do I need to use an horizontal arrangement inside of the vertical arrangement width should be fill parent now I need to bring a label and a text box so you can see it is arranged horizontal so I want this to come in the middle so click on the horizontal arrangement and align vertical should be center so now you can see all the components inside this will come at the center so now we need another like this let me just do control C and control V yes so this is going to be a gap between the login label and these text boxes so but we don't need this text to be seen and if you erase all of them the gap will go so what you need to do is there are two methods you can first type some text change the text color to none so that the text will not be visible the other method is that you don't need to type you can change the height so I'll put 10% you can see a big gap so now let me change this to username and this one to password yes so now we need a button so if they click the button it will log in so I'm going to create a button called login and I'll make the font to 18 and then the text color uh, no no the background color will be blue I think it's too dark so we can pick a color from here I think this one would be nice or this one yeah let's change the background color you can see it here so now you can also type login in this site in which you can get icons here you can see many icons you can also put download these icons and you need to log in into a Google account to access these icons and these these things if they have a crown you need to pay money to download them so I think this icon will be nice for login but now I'm just going to put a button like this I'll put text color to white and bold now we need to change the background image so you can search for some images in Google and insert the image here or you can also create your own images now I have found this image this gradient and I have uploaded so now I think we need to give some spacing here I think this can be made a little bit smaller by changing the height to 55 percent 
yes so now we can see how our app looks in the mobile by connecting to the AI companion I have given the website in the in the link the link of the website in the description below for the flat icon in which you can get many icons and this color picker so now I'm going to see the UI by connecting to the MIT AI2 companion let me scan the QR code now you need to wait for some time yes it looks good so I think we can make this more transparent so I'm going to make it transparent and now you can erase this hint yes now our UI looks good here you can type the username and the password here so in the next tutorial we will learn how to make this login screen work so we are going to save all the username and password in a database and then we will connect the database with the app and we will make our own username and password so now we need an, a button for create account which, which, which we will do in the next tutorial.